maybe seven, eight feet by five feet. Um, it's huge. I'm six feet tall and I can barely touch the roof. So, uh, yeah, without further ado, I'm going to shower. I'm going to get ready for it. And I'll see you guys in a minute. What is up, everybody? We, uh, we are driving over to Healing One right now. We're going to be doing my second float tank, Mr. Glenn's first float tank. First time. If you guys have ever been curious about doing something like this, I wanted to explain this partially to Glenn, but also just to anybody who's thinking about doing something like this. One of the most important things is, um, in, in a weird way, if, if anybody has ever meditated, a lot of people think about meditation as like, oh, you need to like think about stuff. But meditation, depending on the style that you're doing, you actually almost kind of want to do the opposite of that. So the way that I meditate and the way that I recommend Glenn and anybody who hops in a float tank uh, tries to do this is actually just focusing on your breath. And there's a few different ways that you can do that. One of the easiest ways, counting a one on the inhale, a two on the exhale, a three on the inhale, a four on the exhale, and counting your way up to 10 and then resetting. And what you're focusing on more or less is sensation. So you're focusing on what are you feeling when you breathe? Do you feel it in your stomach? Do you feel it in your ribs? Do you feel it in your chest, in your throat? Do you feel it at your nose? Do you feel it right behind your lips? Where are you noticing that? So you're essentially trying to focus on sensation. Does that okay, make sense? That makes sense yeah. So it's, it's literally like even just right now, just while we're driving, yeah. just take a breath in through your nose and just where do you notice it at first? My chest. You notice it at your chest. So basically that's all you're gonna focus on then is just focus on feeling that breath. So it is almost to an extent, you're try it's it's like you're trying to not think, you're trying to just notice. Notice. Okay. And one of the things that you can notice is notice that you are noticing things or notice that you are thinking. So I've done this with you before, but like right now, if you just stop, try to think of nothing, at some point in time a thought is going to come up. Right. right. Yes. Like um, right now, we're just driving, and if I just try to like think of nothing, um, I just thought about the fact of okay, there is a white car in front of us. I remember someone telling me that the most likely um, color vehicle to get tickets is a red car. This is a right. random yeah, thing. There's no sure. fucking reason for me to think that, but I just that was that was what I thought about. Okay, so I noticed myself think that. So I will picture that in my head. Mm -hmm. Do you just put your belt on? Yes. <laughs> Danger. Anyway, but then that will be something that I'll notice. So when I'm sitting in the float tank, maybe I'm going to notice a thought come up. Okay, a white car. So I think about a white car and I'm just going to see that thought in my head and just watch it go away and then come back to breath. And okay. that's all you do. Hmm. And it seems weird, but the intention is to just focus on sensation stay present with what you're doing with where you're at mm -hmm. and not get lost in thought mm. does that make sense yeah it makes sense so are these similar to your zone sort of so they're, they're sort of similar to that but it's um it's a little bit different because what this is is it's mindfulness meditation so it is literally just staying present because think about it like this have you ever been like so uh so just lost in thought that you like come back to you know come back to the real world and you're like oh shit i was totally zoned out there for a second you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're trying to do the exact opposite. You're trying to stay so present. You're noticing the feeling of sensation. You're noticing how breathing is. You're noticing um, if you can smell anything, if you can taste anything, if you can see anything. You'll obviously will be in a sensory deprivation tank, so we're not going to be able to see much. We're not going to be able to fear mu feel much. You're not going to be able to hear much, right? Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah, it makes sense. So if you can't see, feel, uh, you're probably not going to be able to taste. Uh, you're not going to smell. So all you can really feel is what is in your body yeah. and your thoughts. Right. So you're trying to focus on staying present and focusing on your breath. It is so weird, but that is one of the things where whenever people have like um, very spiritual experiences and stuff like that, hang a left up here. Yeah. Um, whenever people have spiritual experiences, it's because they get so present, they get so connected to themselves and the now Mm -hmm. that that's when that kind of shit starts to happen. And obviously that's not the intention. It's not like the intention of, oh, I'm going to have a spiritual out of body experience. It's just about staying present because um, you've heard that statement where it's like, uh, if you're depressed, it's because you're living in the past. If you're anxious, it's because you're living in the future. Right. Mindfulness meditation keeps consciously bringing you back to the present. It takes you back to here, to now, where you are noticing that I can feel the chair I'm sitting on. 
I can feel that it's kind of hot today. Yeah. I can feel my breath. Right. I can notice that I am either thinking or not thinking. Correct. Does that make sense? Yeah, it makes sense. Okay. It's super fucking weird, but when you do it the first time, when you ha when you're like going about your day and you notice that you're just lost in thought, and you're gonna go, oh shit, I'm just lost in thought, and you reconnect, you go back to thinking, you go back to feeling. You go back to sure. sensing your breath. Okay. And that is how you stay connected to the now. That is how you stay present. Does that make sense? Yeah, it makes complete sense. All right, you guys. So this next little chunk, um, I'll actually, uh, I, I don't know, maybe we'll have like Glenn kind of show the setup or whatever. Some of this is going to be him. Some of this is going to be me. Um, so we'll probably just like go back and forth and we'll, uh, we'll kind of give you guys what our take was like at the end of this. And uh, yeah, let's go. So if you guys want to stand here, you look towards the head of the pool. Okay. I'm gonna turn this light off. That's how you can see how dark it gets. Okay. So that little light on the inside will help guide you in okay. um, once you turn the lights off. Um, as you, when you turn the shower on, this lights up as well too, pretty bright. Okay. So uh, for this room specifically, um, I like to turn these lights off so that way the shower uh, allows my eyes to kind of like assimilate to everything that's right. going on. And then the motion sensors, uh, the motion sensor salt lamp will turn itself off shortly after the music. Okay, cool. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. And then I'll show you guys the other one because I'm like, right. sorry. Is the other one the tank or is it like this one as well? No, the other one's a chamber. So yeah, if you guys want to step over there and open that door, I'm going to turn this slide off so you guys can see what that looks like. Whoa. That's crazy. That's so cool. That's a good one, huh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking maybe I get this and I'm a little longer than you. Yeah, usually this is where, because uh, we do have people that come in that are like set foot, yeah, 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 just like bigger beans, yeah, yeah. and uh, this helps. You know, for me, like for my height, I get in there and I get lost. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. like I, I sit up when the music comes on and I'm like, where am I? Yeah, but, yeah. You know, it's that's kind of fun too sometimes, yeah. but not yeah. all the time. Gotcha. You take that. This is cool. Yeah, yeah. So I'll just go over a couple of things with you guys. Mm -hmm. So right here you have your large towel, and right here you have uh, the hand towel. The Vaseline is for any private sensitive areas, or if you have any cuts, usually I get them on my shins. Okay. The earbuds uh, are available if you decide to use those. I like to put those in before stepping into the shower. Gotcha. When I step into the shower, I use shampoo and soap, rinse off my hair and body thoroughly. And before stepping into the chamber or the pool, I like to turn these lights off so that way these motion sensors and the motion sensor over there creates more of an ambiance when um, when you're ready to come out. Got you. Um, while you shower and get in, there's going to be 10 to 15 minutes of music. Once that music fades out, you'll have the length of your float. And once it turns back on again at the end, that's your cue to come out. Okay. Oh, so okay. music in the beginning, silence, silence, which is 90 minute float, right? So music in the beginning, then your 90 minute float, then music at the end. You have about eight minutes to get out, shower, and see us out in the local. Or you can go upstairs into the lounge and sure. hang out. Yeah, please feel free to because yeah. you'll. Uh, we would like for you guys to integrate what just you, your experience. Is. Okay, so yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. This is cool. Um, other than that. Any tips for him as someone who has never, so I, I've meditated and all that stuff like my mm -hmm. entire life, but any, any tips for him as someone who hasn't for a while? Yeah, don't, uh, definitely don't touch your eyes at all because of how much salt there is inside the float rooms. Yeah. Uh, there's over a thousand pounds of Epsom salt, so do not touch your eyes. And if you do, you have to get out and rinse your face off because it, it'll sting for a very long time. Okay. You will get lost. Like focusing on that too. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, I see what yeah, you're saying. You'll just that'll be all you focus. That'll on. be all you focus. So on. just correct. Oh God, so don't even touch. Yeah, don't right. touch your face. face. Got yeah. it. Okay, got yeah. it. Um, other than that, uh, yeah, I'll just go over a couple more details with you in the other one. Okay, uh, but you're yeah. all good, right? Yeah, I'm all good. Okay, so this is my first time. Andrew was talking about it and doing this uh, healing tank. About to take a shower, showing me the whole process. I'm gonna have to use this because. I'm such, I'm on the computer, so I'm probably naturally going to be like this, and it's my first time, so this is going to be cool. I'm expecting to be intention is to be focused, and to be present, and... Shower, so I'm getting into the float tank, and we'll see how this up. We'll see how this goes. So 
This light's gonna turn off by itself. The music is about to be 15 minutes in and 90 minutes and then, yeah. All right, everybody. This is uh, what we're looking like in here. I'm just doing a real quick step in here. So this is maybe seven, eight feet by five feet. It's huge, I'm six feet tall, and I can barely touch the roof. So, uh, yeah, without further ado, I'm gonna shower. I'm gonna get ready for it. And I'll see you guys in a minute. Oh, one other thing, it is very warm in here. Um, so yeah, let's go. Okay. Healing one. Conflicting issues. I felt impatient. I felt like I couldn't breathe. I felt like I was gonna vomit. I got too much in my head. Way too much in my head. I was thinking too much. Dude. Are you, are you sharing a story? Yeah, I am sharing my story right now. I'm just saying how like, gosh, I was so f like, I felt so frustrated. Yeah, dude, I felt like freaking... I'll back it up just a bit. Yeah, here, keep, keep, keep talking, I'll, I'll grab a cup of tea real quick. Yeah, oh man. Dude, I was just battling it. Like the frustrations and I felt like throwing up. Yeah. Okay, tell me about that. Why was that? Was it the sensation of being dizzy? It was just like, it's more like my mind. <clears throat> like, it's so busy. It's been so busy. I wanted to just throw up and be like, fuck all this. <laughs> and, or all the mistakes I've made. Or really like my self worth. It was just a combination. And then all of a sudden, I, I was thinking about your advice just to breathe. And I keep, I, I, I forgot to breathe. So I felt like, like I couldn't breathe anymore. And then I went back to your breathing. <sighs> back and forth, I was breathing, breathing. Yeah, it's, it's up there, there's a pot right there. See that pot? It's hot. It's already hot. <clears throat> I noticed I was more centered, present, nothing to worry about. Um, I was like, when is this thing gonna finish almost? Too. I was like, gosh, I'm over this. Like, this is, why am I so, <laughs> I wanna get out. <laughs> I almost didn't wanna tell you, but I was like, that's what I was going through. I was like, what the, <sighs> when is this gonna end? <laughs> It's such a, it's such a weird, um, <clears throat> such a, also I wish I wore the freaking uh, robe instead. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna, but I was like, man, I don't know if we're allowed to walk through this whole place. Uh, real quick, how soft is your skin? Oh, it's very soft. Didn't and I nice. notice, yeah, I yeah, didn't even really notice nice. how soft my skin was. <laughs> um, but yeah, I remember my first time, like halfway through it, um, I was like, damn dude, like when is this gonna be over? Like it's been a long ass time. Yeah, <clears throat> and I was like almost frustrated about it because, but I was also frustrated the first time because I was like, I should be thinking something or feeling something, you know, like, like I was trying to be like outcome dependent, and I had like an idea of what I was supposed to think or feel or see or experience or whatever, and then it's like the first, the first time, once I kind of like disconnected from it. Like, and was just like, you know what, I'm here, I'm just gonna let this be, and whatever happens, happens. That was when I started to just, and like, everything would just go away. And then I'm like, oh shit. And like, we kind of like snap back into it. I'm like, fuck, that was interesting. And then I'm just kind of sit there and, you know, like, think about that. Like, what was that about? I just kind of like drifted off into like nothing, you know? Yeah. It was weird, but <clears throat> this time, um, 
kind of a few different things. So the first time, um, or I was kind of going back and forth between a few different things. Uh, part of it was I was like, okay, I'm going to focus on my breath and just stay completely present. And I kept going off. From that. Yeah. It was tough to like actually stay present. And I'm like, okay, you know what? I can't stay present. What is my mind to keep jumping to? Moving. So it kept just kept going over to that. And I'm like, okay. Why am I moving? And then I just kind of sat there for a minute. And then I was like, you're moving because this. You're moving because that. You're moving because these things. And it was like, just, I started getting a lot more clarity um, on why I wanted to do that. You know, yeah. why I'm moving. And, you know, a large part of it is, um, you know, it was small. Um, so, you know, going to a bigger pond, so to speak. Yeah. And a lot of it is also um, just going to a new dating scene. Something right. as simple as that. Um, and I had slightly considered that that was a, a reason why, but I think it was kind of ignoring that, you know? So I just sat there and like, thought about that, and I was like, wow, okay. Oh. Yeah, so, and it, it wasn't like... Um, so a love interest, huh? Well, no, not because there is someone there, but just, just because, you know, it's like, I, I want to be a dad, I want to have a family, and I'm like, it ain't gonna happen in Reno, man, like, yeah. you're just too fucking small, <laughs> um, I've met all the people here, but, right, um, <clears throat> yeah, it was that, but I also had this brief moment where it was just like, how long have I been in here, and then I'm like, oh, I'm ready to get out, and then I'm like, no, I actually kind of want like another like thirty minutes, and then I started hearing the music, and I was like, "Yeah, exactly." Yeah, Ex I was yeah. right at the end. I was like, "You know what? I'm actually kind of," and then right, yeah. gosh, David. Yeah, yeah. So it's like that's um. I felt the same way. What'll happen is like as you get better at like connecting to like that stillness, to that mindfulness and stuff, um, you you kind of fall into. That. You fall into that a little bit easier. Are we a little too loud? Okay, cool. Sweet. But yeah, so you can like fall into that zone a little bit easier um, when you're more connected to mindfulness and breath work and that yeah. kind of shit. So then, I mean, there's like people that you know that I've talked to who've like done flow takes and they're like, oh yeah, like I don't even want the music in the beginning because that makes it harder for me to fall in. Like the like the, like I get in there in ten minutes, I'm in the zone. And it's like, so, um, <clears throat> yeah, it's, um, I'm, a, I'm one of those people where I think everybody should do, um, do things twice, um, right. for food, in case it was cooked wrong the first time, <laughs> okay. and for experiences, just in case you're in the wrong headspace, mm. um, and also because you don't know what you're going into, you don't necessarily know what you're going to experience, right? Yeah. So then it's like, now that you know, it's like... If, if you did it a second time, what would you do different? Would you f spend more time focusing on your breath? Would you go in with an intention of, I really want to think about this kind of stuff? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, what, would you, what do you think you would do? If I, don't you, I don't know. The second time, I, I, I don't know. Like, right now, I'm just feeling so... Like, I was a bit confused. I was like, what is going on? I, I'm f battling all these internal internal <coughs> battles like mindset and mm -hmm. things in life and now I'm finally like but at the end right at the end I felt so empowered because yeah. I was like fuck that like forget all that noise mm -hmm. and I just really built myself up yeah. and you finally quiet all that shit yep. yeah and just empowering myself I think the next time now now that you're asking now that I'm thinking about it if I were the second time I go here it'll be more um I think I'm gonna do what, what I'm just hearing is like I should have just let things go, like, and that's what I was telling myself. I like just let it go, surrender, mm -hmm. and it wouldn't let me surrender. Like I couldn't surrender. Hey, hey. I couldn't surrender. Yeah, I was so resistant. Yeah. So you um you create like this uh, this idea of like how things should be, 
and it's, it's really funny, they, they actually have a thing that they teach in, um, <clears throat> in like mindfulness, hey, look, mindfulness. Um, but they actually have a thing that they teach in mindfulness, or even thinking negatively about yourself um, okay. is also still technically a thought. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like if you're if you're focusing on if you're focusing on trying to experience something or being frustrated that you're not experiencing something, you're thinking. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you're you're not you're not present in what you're feeling. Right. Did you uh, did you notice anything physically in your body anywhere that was really really tight anywhere that was just like oh, felt neck. felt off balance? My neck. Yeah. Right away, computer. Yeah. Did you feel that going on? Yeah. I did you it. put I the floaty? Put the thing, the whole thing, yep. and then I yep. just took it off for like two three minutes. I was like, no. Yeah. Gotta put it back. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. What else did I feel? <clears throat> I felt something. I, it was very short, but something in my leg. I, I just. I think I'm realizing I'm getting older. Mm. That's another thing that I'm realizing. You know, I'm, I'm getting a lot older, so my body isn't like what it was 20 when I was 20. Right, right. Even riding my bike, I, I can't be riding like, like what I used to. Yeah, yeah. And now I gotta be protected and everything. <laughs> so I, I really gotta take care of my own body. You're fine. I was, um. This was kind of a funny thing that I, <clears throat> I remember from the last time, but I didn't, uh, I didn't really like know what to do with the last time because it was like really brief that I started noticing it, but I just, it was feeling, um, when I just had my arms at my sides, I felt my arms collapse and internally rotate. Have a great day. So then I was like, okay, let's go here. So I was sitting in the water like this, right? Yeah. And then I noticed, okay. and then I noticed that my right arm was sitting lower, like this, just naturally. Mm. That my elbow was sitting a little closer to the hip. I've always felt that this line is tighter. Mm. So another thing was, I raised my arms up out of the water, and basically just did almost like a bench press. And I felt my body shifted to the right. Like so, when I lifted my arms out of the water, I sank on my right side for oh, some reason. Oh, interesting. I didn't even notice those details. <clears throat> I noticed that both of my feet were rotated out, and when I would point my toes inward, I could feel how tight my glutes actually were. Um, I felt my hips rotated forward, so I could feel how tight like my lower back was getting. And my right ankle, the one that I got in the car accident, or the motorcycle accident with, I could feel that if these are both my feet, my right foot was like this, because that calf is so much tighter. Oh. So then when I'm sitting there suspended, just able to fully relax, I feel that that foot is basically locked in that position. Hmm. Yeah. Interesting. <clears throat> I, I guess my body was like, there's one part where I started to kind of wiggle back and forth, mm -hmm. like, a, like a worm. Mm -hmm. But I was just like, gosh, I want to get out of here. Mm -hmm. But I, I don't want to. Mm -hmm. I do and I don't. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a, it's conflicting. A bit, 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 bit. But I never know. I, I should have put that to thought because I know how you are. When we first started exercising, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, my lunges were yeah, super off balance. Yeah, so now that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, well, it's um, it's even funnier because uh, all those things they all like oh, oh, oh another thing was I could feel that my right hip was more forward than the other, so it was like my hip was like this, you know. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, there's just like so much weird shit, and um, when you're just sitting in there and you have nothing else to think about or focus or, any, or anything like that, you just kind of have this extreme awareness of like your body and where you're at in space, you know? Right. Yeah. What did it feel like floating? What's that? What did it feel like floating for you? I feel great. I actually, I felt, uh, I felt good. I felt really, it was almost natural. Yeah, I wasn't scared or anything. Mm -hmm. um, I think the only thing that I noticed was when I got up, when I got up, I couldn't, I felt like all the weight was gone. Mm -hmm. Like I couldn't get up. Like it just, ugh, yeah, fun it was fully decompressed. So then it's like you're putting all that weight back on. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. That's what I felt. Yeah, but floating was, was okay. And. Did that light flick off halfway through, or was it always on? 
It was always on. Oh, it was on. Okay, okay. Yours? Oh, I shut it off. Oh, how did you shut it off? Um, I so I couldn't actually figure it out. Funny enough, and then I like peeked my head out. I'm like, how do I turn this light off? And they're like, oh, big white button. Oh, and then I dang it. <laughs> yeah. So that probably changed things a little bit too, because I assume you could see. Yeah, but I close my eyes majority of the time. Okay, yeah. So I had my eyes open the entire time. Oh wow. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> there were actually periods where I forgot that my eyes were open, and I would have to remember to blink. Oh. Yeah, because it was just you know completely black in there. Yeah. Um, at least for, for me, it was pitch black. Right. Couldn't see anything. Couldn't oh. see anything. Couldn't hear anything. So the only sound that I could hear was um, me breathing. Yeah. You know. Um, and I. You know, I've done a lot of different like breathing exercises. So the, the other thing too is like I've, I've been doing this longer than you, so I've had like different shit that I like wanted to experiment with while I was doing it. So there's like a lot of different breathing techniques. Like there's like holotropic breath work. There's oming. There's square breathing or box breathing. Um, and I was like trying all of them out. So you know, I'm sitting there and I just mm, just like let myself kind of like hum with every exhale. Yeah. And just kind of felt that relaxing, this relaxation with it. And then I was box breathing. So inhale for four seconds, hold for four seconds, exhale for four seconds, hold for four seconds. I'm just doing that slow rhythmic breathing. And then um, another one is um, a really intense breathing. So like as quick and intense as you can. And um, then the final exhale, you. And slowly let that breath out, and then you just hold that exhale as long as you can. And I would just sit in silence and just, I would like get these not, not chills, but it was just like my skin became extra sensitive. So then it was just like every time, like the water would move a little bit, I could like feel, you know, like my hair on my skin moving and stuff. It was really fucking weird. Yeah. Uh, but like that's a pretty easy thing to induce it's just that right. and it's a little more detailed than that I can send you a link on a video that yeah, does that but <clears throat> um, yeah it's I realized too how important your zone exercises are oh yeah tell me oh, about yeah. that oh definitely <laughs> why is that because my breathing I still I'm, I'm ever since you told me like hey you have like Practice on your breathing, yeah, practice yeah. on your breathing, and then when I was there, I was like, like it's just your zone exercise. It's just all that reminded me of a little bit of your zone exercises, mm-hmm. that breathing. Mm-hmm. Like, I gotta keep breathing. Like, mm-hmm. And you know, you told me 80%. Only breathe up to here. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So you gotta get that full breath. Full breath, yeah. yeah. Dude, it was something else. It's, was, it's such a strange experience. It's so weird. Well, and, and that's one of the other things too is like when you when you try to explain this shit to people um, like think about it so how would you explain that <laughs> that's right I can't. hey you're gonna be in a dark room doing nothing for an hour and a half what yeah you'd be like fuck that <laughs> exactly yeah but then like you know think about um, think about all these other practices that that we do you know like journaling or meditation yeah, exactly or, um, any of that shit you know what what is all that stuff really it's sitting alone more or less doing nothing yeah I have a gift card for this place you do and I still haven't used it what? yeah now you can I know but it's interesting like I was like in my back of my mind yeah I'll use it when I'm when I'm feeling whatever mm-hmm. I'm feeling this I'm feeling that I but do. Isn't that every day? Like, yeah. feel a certain way, whatever. Mm-hmm. So, <clears throat> yeah. I'd say, um, next big shift that you make, uh, schedule one. Okay. Yeah, because then, um, what you can do is, uh, you know, use that to kind of process it. So, like, what he was talking about, where it's like, you know, I have to come up here and chill for a little bit and kind of integrate that kind of stuff. Um, even things that you might find irritating or frustrating so like go go through it again what was it that you were feeling irritated or frustrated what, what were those things uh, things in my business no no while you were in there while I was in there mm-hmm. oh, oh like my just I was like when is this over right right um, 
why am I doing this? <laughs> um, when is this over? Okay, I can breathe. I can breathe. What am I going to get out? Why can't I breathe again? Yeah. And when is this going to finish? When is this going to end? Right. Please just get mm-hmm. me out of here. But I so, wanted to stay still. So now think about it this way. Why do you interpret those as bad things? Because hmm. I'm uncomfortable. How much other shit in your life are you like, when am I going to be done with this? Ooh, right. Damn. <laughs> That's right. Oh, yeah. I mean, think about it like in the sense of our business, like to some extent, there's always this little bit that's like, man, when will I be successful enough that I don't have to work this hard? Yeah. When will I be finished? Yeah. It's a never ending. Yeah. It's a never ending battle. Yeah. So it's like this is that a constant thing for you where it's trying to get to the end, trying to be done? this way, I feel imbalanced, I feel uneven, all these different things, right? Mm-hmm. But then, I just gained so much clarity about how I need to be stretching. Like, I could feel so much how tight my right hip was, how tight both my uh, glutes were rotating outward, how tight my calf is, how tight both of my calves are. Oh, the entire time, both of my hands were like this. I couldn't get my hands to relax. I mean, even just if I do that right now, that's their resting position. Really? Yeah, it's like in like a semi-fist. So, how tired are my hands? How tired are my forearms? How much time do I need to spend just stretching? Gosh. It's the thing that I don't do enough of that I need to do more of. Mm-hmm. So it's like, and here's the thing, is like you can infer meaning from pretty much anything you experience in there. But the point of like integrating it after sitting down and thinking about it is are you just coming up with random shit in your mind or is there something actually useful there? Right. You know? Yeah, it's all oh, wow. That's a good way of putting it. <coughs> I never thought about it like that. Mm. Why am I frustrated? Right. Mm. Why do I want to get out? What is this over with? That's weird though. Um, you'll uh, you'll like it again the next time too, being able to kill it. Because then you get completely zoned in. Right. Yeah. Because then it's, I mean, you open your eyes, you know, you kind of pull yourself out of it if you can see. Yeah. Of course. You can't see shit. <laughs> it's different. Right, right. Yeah. Anyway. Um, yeah. Dude, this is awesome. <laughs> it's fucking weird. It's so weird. It's fucking weird, but it's, it's fucking cool. Alrighty, guys. Well, until next time, unless you got anything else. That's it. That's all I got. Alright, we got Glenn with. I don't know, what are you now? It's like, just Glenn Barbosa. All right, Glenn with Glenn Barbosa and Andrew with Pride Fitness and Movement. We'll see you all later. Hey guys, thanks for watching that episode. If you got some value out of that, please give me a little subscribe somewhere in there, whether that is on Apple, Spotify, wherever you're listening right now. And uh, you can also find me on TikTok, Instagram, pretty much everywhere, honestly, at Andrew PFM. So uh, yeah, guys, until next time, we'll see you all later.